Meantime, a local school district preparing for emergencies like school shootings, one room and one bucket at a time. The Shaler Area School District is putting go buckets in every classroom. Channel 11's Lori Hoy found out what goes into them. This is a go bucket. It's filled with emergency supplies, and 29 of them are here right now at Marzoff Elementary School. But soon, every classroom in the Shaler Area School District will have one. It's mostly stuff for if you are in a lockdown situation or an active shooter situation. Heather McGregor is the district parent council president. She shows us what's in the go buckets that help teachers in an emergency situation. Items such as a first aid kit, flashlight, toilet paper, antibacterial wipes, and sanitary napkins. This was one of the hardest ones for the parents, the sanitary napkins, um, just because they're for gunshot wounds. Um, they're probably one of the best things to help uh, stop the bleeding. The Go Bucket project is similar to the one at the Chartiers Valley School District. It's a joint effort by the parents group and Shaler Area School District. 10, 15 years ago, we didn't talk about this as much, but it's, it's currently what we're dealing with in society, and, and we as schools need to be prepared for whatever comes. The plan is to have these go buckets in the high school by the end of the year. McGregor calls them a labor of love, but hopes they're never needed. As a parent, yes, it was definitely difficult to put them together, to think about the reasons you had to put them together, but definitely necessary for sure. The district parent council told me the most expensive part of the bucket is the bucket itself and is looking to companies for donations. From Marzoff Elementary School, Lori Hoy, Channel 11 News.